Hey there all you handsome bastards and classy ladies and welcome back to some more Valiant Hearts The Great War on PS4 with yours truly, Christian, the true Iron Gamer, partnered with TGN. If you like what you see, click that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the game. Let me know if you're looking forward to The Witcher 3 this Wednesday. I know it's out on Tuesday the 19th, but I'm not going to get to upload it until Wednesday the 20th. And um, so this puzzle that appeared at the end of the last video, this safe thing, I probably spent in or around the last 10 to 15 minutes just kind of tinkering with it and not really having a clue what to do. But then I noticed something on the paintings because um, I was thinking they're, they're too significant. I was hitting them down and stuff but there was nothing about them that kind of stood out. But I, I then I realized something. See here it's got a Roman numeral of 3 and then a numerical value of 8. So my theory is the Roman numeral tells you what number that number is on the safe and the actual number itself is telling you what number it is. So for example the third number here so you got the Roman numeral 3 and the number 8 so the third number on the safe would be 8. Now if I work this out right I'm not gonna go back and show you the other paintings but I think the combination is gonna be 4, 6, 8 and I worked out as well if you hover yeah, if you hover over the numbers that's how you kind of you know input it. Boom! It has worked, people! Success! So in we go. Designs for tanks, zeppelins, oh the chemical thing. Holy shit, these are all things we came across. Oh, I bet you this is actually Anna's house. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, people. I'm thinking this is Anna's house. Her dad must have been the guy who designed all these terrible weapons. Oh no, so that means he... That means that her dad came up with the weapon that's being used to destroy his own hometown. That's got a shit all over your day. Uh, okay, so there's the bombs that we can use to free the- Oh, so the woman back in the house must be her mother. Okay, it's all coming together now. Oh, hang on, I need to cough. <coughs> Excuse me, I did that uh, as away from the microphone as I possibly could. So yeah, the first one was four, yeah, four, six, eight. You can see it on the painting back there. Oh shit. Hang on, we gotta get up there. Oh, that's even worse if his own bomb was used to kill his own wife. Oh, did we find anywhere though that a lever was present? Because I don't remember coming across any lever contraption in the house. Oh no. Oh no. And I'm not sure if there's an actual time pressure here, if there's an actual time scale that we've got to get this done by. Oh, of course, it was back here, the whole reason why I had to get it in the first place. <laughs> of course, who doesn't keep a basket full of grenades in their home? Okay, so we can actually rescue her now with this. We just gotta get out here. Get up there. And get this over there. Okay, up we go. Hello, mama. Can us patch her up anyway. Gotta treat your parents right and all that jazz. She died. <laughs> She'll be fine, people. Oh, okay, she's fine. I was wondering if her, her, if her state would actually be de dependent on if you passed it, you know. <laughs> the governess revealed to her that her father, an eminent scientist, had been kidnapped by Baron Von Dorf, who was eager to use scientific advances in warfare. Anna set out in pursuit of the Baron and encountered Emil and Freddy. Destiny brought them together. They had survived the enemy's wrath, 
their gunfire, bombardments, gas attacks. Now, with her father within reach, Anna wasn't going to let him stay. Okay, so Anna and Walt are pairing up. I can get on board with that. Oui, bon chien. Ah, and she rubs him just like Emil. Okay, I think he was basically saying that they were German soldiers. Oh, right, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought they were friendly and stuff. Even though the Zeppelin was downed, they're probably all gonna still get killed. Just because they suck at war. Good, Walt. Now stop distracting the man from his job. Because I don't think Anna can actually, um... I don't think she can actually hit... I thought those were just breadcrumbs. I don't think she can actually hit people the way... Um, we're gonna patch this guy up. I know he's a German. A German soldier, so technically he's an enemy, but Anna's a doctor, you know? Doctors aren't really meant to care about that stuff. You just patch people up because you swore to patch people up. Although it's really funny though, uh, back in the past there was a world where the medical profession was actually a really, you know, kind of reviled trade, you know? It was considered to be like the most common, lowest job you could do. And I suppose the reason for that was that um, doctors had a very low survival rate back then. Well, they didn't have the same medical standards that they do today. Uh, <laughs> I thought he was actually going to shoot him. But, um... What was I going to say? I was, saying, I was saying something. Oh, wow. Look at the graphics and the artwork on this. Oh, shit. Carol. I know he's German, but he's not a bad guy. Gotta say, the artwork is really shining in this part of the game as well. Pick that up. Uh, I'm not gonna send Walt out to get it. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to send Walt out to get it. Because, uh... Okay, I don't want to say Anna weighs too much. You never say that about a lady. You don't ever say that about a lady. Ever. No matter what. But... It's just... This thing is a bit flimsy in what weight it can handle. Oh, of course, what am I doing? I gotta balance it. Hang on, come back to me, Walt. Yeah, now you can go get it. Awesome. <laughs> He's just the greatest little canine companion. Uh, so we have some leverage on the situation now. Oh, he's so happy! Alright, let's rescue... <laughs> let's rescue this tree! Oh, that's one of the pistols from, um, Wolfenstein, the old blood. Wow, it is really fortunate that the chains came out that way. Yeah, he's all sorts of stuck. Alright, up we go. There's, I have a feeling there's something collectible up here. Shit. Get that for me, Walter! Thank you, Walter. Hey, come back to me. Bring, bring it to me! <laughs> okay. Very good. So we got 
canned food, I think. It's definitely some sort of a can or a tin. I don't really know what good it's going to do, but... I suppose that's what we're here to find out. Okay. Ooh, a pencil. <laughs> I took a shot in the dark, but I didn't expect that to actually happen. Yank him out. It would have been bad if we just repeatedly crushed him with it. <laughs> How harsh would that have been? Okay, let's get Carl patched up anyway. Okay, so far so good. He's gonna die, he's flatlining. Okay, good, good. I thought I was gonna lose him there, I was like, he's definitely dying on my watch. Here we go. I thought he was just gonna slap her. <laughs> right in the face. Okay, he clearly wants us to help out with something. Oh no. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Should have known something like an exploding zeppelin wasn't enough to stop a man like Freddy. And you go. Okay. Get away. There we go. I actually it took me a moment there to realize that Yeah, okay. That I'm actually playing as Freddy instead of um I'm actually playing as Freddy instead of uh Emil. So I'm guessing whatever side Walt is on, that is the one that you're controlling. So if Walt comes in this way now, yeah, we're playing as a uh, I was watching him call it, Emil. Beating the crap out of our own allies. Our own fellow countrymen. Well, there's not. Oh, wait, hang on. I got an idea. Walter, ah, come to me. There you go. Just for the love of God, don't bite it. <laughs> Hold it, don't bite it. And if you could give it back to Freddy, that'd be great. Okay. I'm not sure if this is a. Uh... Oh dear. Oh, maybe it has to go into the fire. Well, go get out. <laughs> Fetch that from me, would you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair well, enough. Get away. Back to <laughs> to Emil then. Um. Because there's definitely nothing that Emil can hit. Yeah, there's definitely nothing. Because we need, um... Ah, damn it, we need to go. There we go. That's damned unfortunate, though, people. Okay. What? Back in there. Thank you, Walter. There we go, it's gonna doubly explode. Watch it! <laughs> I think that was the other stick of dynamite that I had there. So he's probably gonna dig up a lever or a bone or. Yep, that's a lever. I actually wanna give that to him. So we wanna send him back to a meal. 
Who will then put him to good work by... Ah, uh, I gotta pick that up. So we run our way on back here. I used to think Emil ran slowly because he was in chains, but it really hasn't changed his walk at all. Ah, oh, good man. Reunited. Because we're the three best friends that anyone could have. Oh yeah, okay. Grab that for us, that'd be neat. I can only assume we're trying to destroy the engine. Oh wait, no. You grab us that, please, and thank you. Thank you. that back there. Oh no! So I'm gonna catch it on fire. Throw it back. And then that should do the trick. Kablambo! <laughs> I like the little team like fist pump there for a second. Victory! There's a taxi. And there is one beautiful sight. Victory had a bittersweet taste for Anna. Carl, seriously wounded, had been sent to a POW camp. Anna's father had disappeared with Baron von Dorf, and Emil was court-martialed for desertion. Cited for his bravery in Reims, Emil was fortunately pardoned and set free. Free to go back to the front. February 21st, 1916. Winter had descended on the front. After joining back up with the army, Emil and Freddy were stationed near Verdun, suffering like many others from the harsh winter. That morning, the arrival of the mail raised spirits, but Marie's letter did not bring good news. In San Miel, food was scarce, disease was rife, and the number of dead was growing. Out of this grim news, however, there was one ray of light, a photo of his grandson, Victor, standing on both feet and learning to walk. Alrighty, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies, I just want to thank you all for watching and sticking with this series so far. We're going to leave it at that for now, but do keep it on my channel. There will be more. I am hoping to get to the end of this game before The Witcher 3 is released. Or at the very least, have the game recorded by the time it's released. So then I can just upload it as, uh, as I get round to it. So do keep it on my channel. There will be more videos. Thank you all for watching.